is the the gauge that I got and ordering number uh, information and it was about 20 bucks uh, I think uh, people have told me you can get them for as low as 10 but I like this one so uh, get something though to check the tension remember it has to register 10 pounds of pressure hello folks <clears throat> we're going to check the belt tension on snazzy here and there's a few things we're going to need <clears throat> one thing is I've got this belt tension guide or gauge and it's going to allow me to place it under there and put the proper 10 pounds of pressure on this belt and it's only supposed to deflect uh, between 0.30 and uh, 0.40 uh, inches. That's uh, 0.30 for a new belt, 0.40 inches for a older belt. So as you go through the life of your belt, uh, you're going to get closer. Uh, you can go closer to the 0.40. This equates to uh, 5 six tenths of an inch for the 0 0.30 and uh, seven six uh, six tenths for the um, 0 0.40 uh, the close and it's easier to read and what I have is one of these um, oh, it's an angle tool a square yeah basically it's a square and right here we want to check it at this point uh, right in here okay so I'm going to put my my gauge or my square with my 64 um, or sixteenth of an inch measurements there or indications and I'm going to look for five sixteenths of a travel with ten pounds of pressure on the belt now before I do this though I am a, the first time I'm going to find out huh, if I have some loose and tight spots on my belt uh, just to get the feel for it so I've elevated uh, I put a chalk at the front wheel so that we don't roll because with the rear wheel up in the air there's nothing to keep your vehicle from rolling so you should chalk it front and back. First, you should be on level ground. I'm saying this for your safety. So think it out before you do something like this. I've got a motorcycle jack, which I just love for working on snazzy. It's, uh, it's got these two arms and also for jacking up the rear wheel, I can grab it at a spot right under the uh, rear drive and uh, it'll allow me to go up all I need is about an inch or a half inch just enough that I can move the wheel so I don't have to have it high and the reason is I'm going to squeeze the belt and just feel by hand now that feels looser and I'm going to find the tightest point if I can and I think I, it feels pretty even all the way around so I don't know if I will ever go through jacking it up uh, to find the absolute tightest point. But I wanted to show it might be good for you to check yours just to be sure your belt doesn't have a, a stretch point. Whatever model uh, tension gauge you get, uh, you want to be able to have a 10 pound uh, pressure adjustment and there's a little uh, rubber um, grommet or o-ring right there and there's a little mark right there you put the little o-ring right on the 10 uh, 10 pound mark and what you're going to do is you're going to push it up until this little uh, o-ring comes in contact with this blue area at the bottom you don't want to go any further okay this is a little better 
right there is the bottom of my belt and I'm right at about the point that I need to check it and there is my five sixteenths this is my allowed movement of the belt the for t proper tension and this is a new belt so making sure that I'm at my adjusted or calibrated point of 10 pounds I'm going to apply pressure and we're going to we're going to watch this movement and we're going to look for the bottom of this to come up to that point uh, it's got to be within there or pretty close to that it seems like okay and I'm going up and it's within the spec it's right there 5 16 so I am good on my belt adjustment So this will help you come up with some gauge that you can maneuver, that you can look at how far that belt is deflecting. And this is a good point, making sure that you're not cocked or, in, or like this or like this, but uh, perpendicular, 90 degree, you want a 90 degree angle and that's perfect my belt is perfect as it gets older I can move up to 7 sixteenths so I'm not there yet but I can keep an I'd, I'd, uh, I can keep an, a look on it and see uh, if it's starting to wear okay but uh, what I will do is I'll actually show you the adjustment and make a, uh, a belt adjustment and move this a sixteenth or so just to let you see how to do it if your belt is either too tight or too loose. Uh, if this belt movement had gone up about a sixteenth over or two, one eighth, uh, <clears throat> that might be alarm uh, to readjust the tension of the belt. But right there, that's a good movement. So I'm satisfied with it. And now you can go and uh, get you a gauge and get you some sort of a reference point. Look at this at Home Depot. And uh, it's got uh, the 16th of an inch uh, graduation, which is just perfect. And I may get me something with Velcro or something where this will stay up there. Uh, and I may just leave my tape on there so I can, well, it might be different depending on where I'm uh, working on. Okay, that's it. All right, go check your uh, belt tension. All right, that's your assignment. Belt tension adjustment will be in another video coming shortly. Okay, so watch for it. As far as belt alignment, I'm perfect right there. I'm close to this inborn, uh, inboard uh, uh, lip of the pulley, and so it's uh, it doesn't need require any adjustment. So uh, I've got a video on how to change that adjustment uh, to meet the specs. So you might want to look at that.